Hi everyone, welcome back to the Editor Tutorial Series. In the previous lesson, we briefly introduced the Parker template and showed you games created with this template. In this lesson, let's go through how the level 1 map of the game is created. Take a look at the full level 1 map. Since the template has something to do with the Operation Frozen events, we have adopted some models and materials that match the event. Apart from these, all the traps are embedded in the template. Now, time to show you how to adjust the traps. The traps in the Parker template are usually made from parts. Not only can we modify the position, orientation and size of these parts, some attributes can also be changed to achieve special effects. For instance, the conveyor belt effect. To achieve the conveyor belt effect, we need to use the speed attribute of the part. For example, fill in a number greater than zero in the speed in X direction. It allows players standing on the conveyor belt to achieve the effect of automatic moving towards a certain direction. Let's run it and check the effect. By modifying the speed attribute of the part, we can easily adjust the conveyor trap. What about the security door trap? The security door trap is realized by controlling the collision properties of the parts. For the two roads, check the collision attribute for one of them and make sure the other one is unchecked. If you want to use the electric power device and adjust its position and orientation, Pay attention that there is a transparent part in this device. The effect that when players encounter the device and die at once is actually achieved by triggering the death effect when the player touches this transparent part. The event logic of the triggering death is preset, there's no need to make any changes. You can adjust the transparency properties of the transparent part. A value of 1 stands for visible and 0 for transparent. You can display the part first, and once the orientation and positions are all set, make it transparent again. Note that no matter what traps you use, the parts that make up the traps need to be anchored. This is to prevent the parts from falling due to gravity. Since the location of the respawn point in the level 1 map is different from the location of the respawn point in the Parker template, we need to adjust the coordinates of the respawn point in its event logic. Star editing of the respawn point. We can simplify the current logic. When the player touches a part, perform setting of player's respawn point coordinates. Add halo buff to the player, and also display the hints. Note that when we copy and paste the respawn point, don't forget to adjust the respawn point coordinates in the event logic. As the finishing point, if you'd like to have multiple levels, you need to set the position when the player completes the level as the starting point of the next level. Beware! When using the jumping platform, never touch the name, keep it the same as jump. Because the jumping platform logic of this template has been implemented with pre-written code, a modification of the name will disable the effect of the jumping platform. Next, let's learn how to edit a model according to the Operation Frozen event. Go to store and find the models that you find match well with the event theme. For example, the snowman model used in the level 1 map. Purchase and download the model. Close the store and go back to the editor. In the game components view, click on the unit. Create a new entity named Snowman. Then delete the male character model and the female character model. Select the actor file of the Snowman in the male character model. Well, we have successfully created a Snowman entity. This method applies to rest of the models. Afterwards, we can use the freshly created entity to decorate our game scene. Note that in order to prevent model penetration, you can add physical collisions to the model. For example, choose the physical properties of the snowman. Then turn on the physical effects and adjust the range of physical collisions.
The snowing effect in the game scene is also realized by Entity. We begin with creating a particle effect named Snow. Double click the particle effect you just created, and find the weather effect on the left side of the window appear. Drag the weather effect to the scene on the right, and then select Snow from, weather type, in the property bar. You can adjust the specific effect of Snow, in the attribute bar below. Back to the editor, in the resource view, create a new character and bind the bone. Double click to create a new character. Right click and select, add special effects, in the appearance. Select the snowing effect you just created. We have now created a snowing character. Then bind the snowing character to the entity you are created and it's ready for use. Above is what you need to know about level 1 map. With the help of these instructions, and with your own ideas or plans, you should be able to create your own, map of a Parker game. That's it, thank you all for watching. We hope this video helps. If you want to know more about our editor, comment below or leave a message on our official forum. See you in the next video.